traditional costumes of the indigenous peoples of Asia, such as the Japanese kimono and the Turkish Turkish. Traditional clothing has long been an important aspect of cultural identity and heritage for many indigenous peoples in Asia. From the intricate and elegant kimono of Japan to the colorful and ornate though NHIKY of Turkey, traditional clothing serves as a symbol of cultural pride and tradition. One of the most well-known traditional clothing items in Asia is the kimono, a long, flowing robe worn by both men and women in Japan. The kimono is typically made from silk or other high-quality fabrics and features intricate patterns and designs, reflecting the rich cultural history and aesthetic sensibility of Japan. The kimono is often worn for formal occasions such as weddings and tea ceremonies, and it remains a symbol of Japanese culture and tradition. Another traditional clothing item in Asia is the though NHIKY, a colorful and ornate robe worn by women in Turkey and other parts of the Middle East. The though NHIKY is typically made from silk or other fine fabrics and features intricate embroidery and beading, often in bright and bold colors. The though NHIKY is often worn for special occasions such as weddings and religious ceremonies, and it remains a symbol of cultural identity and tradition in Turkey. In addition to the kimono and the NHIKY, there are many other traditional clothing items worn by indigenous peoples throughout Asia. In India, the sari is a popular and iconic clothing item worn by women, featuring a long piece of cloth draped around the body in a variety of styles. In Indonesia, the batik is a traditional fabric made using a wax-resist dyeing technique, often featuring intricate patterns and designs. The traditional clothing of indigenous peoples in Asia is not only a symbol of cultural identity but also serves as a reflection of the natural environment and way of life of these communities. The use of natural materials and fibers, such as silk and cotton, is common in traditional clothing, reflecting the importance of sustainability and environmental stewardship in these cultures. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in traditional clothing and fashion in Asia, both within the region and around the world. Many designers and fashion enthusiasts are incorporating traditional elements into modern fashion, creating unique and innovative designs that blend the old with the new. This trend not only serves as a celebration of cultural heritage but also helps to promote diversity and inclusivity in the fashion industry. Traditional clothing is an important part of cultural identity and heritage in many parts of the world, including Africa. African traditional clothing is known for its vibrant colors and bold patterns, reflecting the diverse cultures and histories of the continent. One of the most well-known examples of African traditional clothing is the dashiki, a colorful and loose-fitting shirt worn by men and women throughout West Africa. The dashiki is often made from cotton or other lightweight fabrics and features bold patterns and designs, often in bright and contrasting colors. The dashiki is not only a popular choice for formal occasions and celebrations but also serves as a symbol of African pride and identity. Another popular traditional clothing item in Africa is the kaftan, a loose-fitting tunic worn by both men and women in many parts of the continent. The kaftan is typically made from lightweight fabrics such as cotton or silk and features intricate embroidery and beading, often in traditional and symbolic patterns. The kaftan is often worn for special occasions such as weddings and religious ceremonies, and it remains an important symbol of cultural identity and tradition. In addition to the dashiki and kaftan, there are many other traditional clothing items worn by people throughout Africa. 
In East Africa, the kanga is a colorful and lightweight garment worn by women, often featuring messages and proverbs in Swahili. In Southern Africa, the shweshwe is a popular fabric featuring intricate geometric patterns, often used to make traditional dresses and other clothing items. African traditional clothing is not only a symbol of cultural identity but also serves as a reflection of the natural environment and way of life of these communities. Many traditional clothing items are made from natural fibers and dyes, reflecting the importance of sustainability and environmental stewardship in African cultures. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in African traditional clothing and fashion around the world. Many designers and fashion enthusiasts are incorporating traditional elements into modern fashion, creating unique and innovative designs that blend the old with the new. This trend not only serves as a celebration of cultural heritage but also helps to promote diversity and inclusivity in the fashion industry. Traditional clothing plays an important role in cultural identity and heritage in many parts of the world, including South America. South American traditional clothing is known for its vibrant colors, intricate embroidery, and use of natural fibers, reflecting the diverse cultures and histories of the region. One of the most well-known examples of South American traditional clothing is the poncho, a rectangular or square piece of cloth with a hole in the center for the head. The poncho is worn by both men and women in many parts of South America, and it is often made from wool or other natural fibers. The poncho features bold and colorful designs and serves as a symbol of cultural identity and tradition in the region. Another popular traditional clothing item in South America is the pollera, a voluminous skirt worn by women in many parts of Bolivia and Peru. The pollera is typically made from multiple layers of fabric and features intricate embroidery and beading, often in traditional and symbolic patterns. The pollera is often worn for special occasions such as weddings and festivals, and it remains an important symbol of cultural identity and tradition. In addition to the poncho and pollera, there are many other traditional clothing items worn by people throughout South America. In Ecuador, the cola cuencana is a traditional outfit worn by women, consisting of a wide-brimmed hat, long skirt, and shawl. In Argentina and Uruguay, the gaucho is a popular traditional outfit worn by men consisting of a wide-brimmed hat, loose-fitting shirt, and wide-legged pants. South American traditional clothing reflects the rich cultural history and diversity of the region. Many traditional clothing items are made from natural fibers and dyes, reflecting the importance of sustainability and environmental stewardship in these cultures. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in South American traditional clothing and fashion around the world. Many designers and fashion enthusiasts are incorporating traditional elements into modern fashion, creating unique and innovative designs that blend the old with the new. This trend not only serves as a celebration of cultural heritage but also helps to promote diversity and inclusivity in the fashion industry. Traditional clothing is an important aspect of cultural identity and heritage in many parts of the world, including the Middle East. Middle Eastern traditional clothing is known for its intricate details, bright colors, and use of luxurious fabrics, reflecting the diverse cultures and histories of the region. One of the most well-known examples of Middle Eastern traditional clothing is the abaya, a loose-fitting robe worn by women in many parts of the Middle East. 
The abaya is typically made from lightweight fabrics such as silk or cotton and is often decorated with intricate embroidery or beading. The abaya is worn for both formal and casual occasions and remains an important symbol of cultural identity and tradition in the region. Another popular traditional clothing item in the Middle East is the thobe, a long-sleeved robe worn by men in many parts of the region. The thobe is typically made from lightweight fabrics such as cotton or linen and is often decorated with ornate embroidery or embellishments. The thobe is worn for both formal and casual occasions and remains an important symbol of cultural identity and tradition in the region. In addition to the abaya and thobe, there are many other traditional clothing items worn by people throughout the Middle East. In Egypt, the galabaya is a popular traditional outfit worn by both men and women, consisting of a long, loose-fitting tunic. In Iran, the chador is a traditional garment worn by women, consisting of a large scarf or shawl that covers the entire body. Alexander McQueen, the story of the founding and growth of the Alexander McQueen fashion brand, and the designer's influence on the fashion industry. Alexander McQueen was a British fashion designer who founded the eponymous fashion brand that quickly became one of the most iconic and influential fashion houses of our time. McQueen's creative vision and daring designs continue to inspire designers and fashion enthusiasts alike cementing his legacy as one of the most important figures in the fashion industry. Born in London in 1969, McQueen began his fashion career as an apprentice tailor on London Seville Row. He then went on to attend Central St. Martin's College of Art and Design, where he earned a master's degree in fashion design. It was during his time at Central St. Martin's that McQueen developed his signature style, which was known for its dark and gothic aesthetic and which incorporated elements of British history and culture. In 1992, McQueen founded his own fashion label, Alexander McQueen. His first collection, entitled Jack the Ripper Stocks His Victims, was immediately praised for its innovative designs and daring themes. McQueen continued to push the boundaries of fashion with each subsequent collection often using unconventional materials and techniques to create his signature look. One of the most notable collections from McQueen's early career was the Highland Rape Collection of 1995. The collection was controversial for its use of distressed and torn fabrics, as well as its incorporation of sexual violence imagery. The collection was both praised and criticized for its daring themes and designs, but it solidified McQueen's reputation as a bold and boundary-pushing designer. Throughout his career, McQueen continued to innovate and challenge traditional notions of beauty and fashion. He created intricate and ornate designs, often inspired by historical and cultural references, and frequently used unconventional materials such as leather, feathers, and metal. McQueen's influence on the fashion industry cannot be overstated. He was known for his innovative designs, as well as his ability to provoke thought and emotion through his work. His designs continue to be referenced and celebrated by designers around the world. And his legacy has inspired a new generation of fashion designers to push the boundaries of creativity and innovation. In addition to his impact on the fashion industry, McQueen was also known for his philanthropy and his commitment to social causes. He worked with various charities and organizations, including Amnesty International and the Prince's Trust, and his designs often incorporated political and social commentary. Sadly, McQueen passed away in 2010 at the age of 40. However, his legacy lives on through his eponymous fashion brand, which continues to produce bold and innovative designs, 
as well as through the many designers and fashion enthusiasts who continue to be inspired by his work. Another aspect of Alexander McQueen's influence on the fashion industry was his impact on the relationship between fashion and art. McQueen often saw himself as an artist rather than a fashion designer, and his runway shows were known for their elaborate sets and dramatic presentations. McQueen's runway shows were often theatrical productions, featuring elaborate sets, music, and even choreography. He saw the runway as a canvas on which he could create his own unique world and narrative, often drawing inspiration from literature, history, and pop culture. One of McQueen's most iconic runway shows was the 2001 collection entitled Voss. The show was held in a disused Victorian asylum, and the runway was lined with mirrored walls. The models walked down the runway in McQueen's signature avant-garde designs, which were inspired by mental illness and featured straight jacket like constructions. In addition to his runway shows, McQueen also collaborated with artists and photographers to create stunning and provocative fashion campaigns. He worked with renowned photographer Nick Knight on many of his campaigns, and the pair often incorporated unconventional and provocative imagery into their work. McQueen's impact on the relationship between fashion and art is still felt today. Many contemporary fashion designers draw inspiration from his runway shows and his commitment to creating a unique and provocative visual narrative. The importance of the runway show as a platform for artistic expression has also been underscored by McQueen's influence. With many designers using their runway presentations to tell a story or create a unique world for their collections. Another aspect of Alexander McQueen's influence on the fashion industry was his use of technology and innovation. He was always looking for ways to push the boundaries of traditional fashion design and explore new techniques and materials. One of the most notable examples of McQueen's use of technology was his use of 3D printing. He was one of the first designers to incorporate 3D printing into his designs, creating intricate and ornate pieces that were impossible to create using traditional techniques. McQueen also used digital printing to create custom prints and patterns for his designs. He collaborated with digital artists to create unique designs that could be printed onto fabric, allowing him to create highly customized and personalized designs. Another way that McQueen pushed the boundaries of traditional fashion was through his use of unconventional materials. He often incorporated materials such as feathers, leather, and metal into his designs, creating unique and innovative looks that were both daring and beautiful. McQueen also had a passion for sustainability and the environment, and he incorporated sustainable materials and production methods into his designs. He used organic and recycled fabrics, and he was committed to minimizing waste and reducing the environmental impact of his designs. Finally, McQueen's influence on the fashion industry extended beyond the runway and into popular culture. His designs were often worn by celebrities and featured in films and music videos, making him a household name. And further cementing his status as one of the most influential fashion designers of our time. Another aspect of Alexander McQueen's influence on the fashion industry was his use of storytelling in his designs. McQueen's runway shows were not just about presenting clothing but also about telling the story and creating a unique world for each collection. He often drew inspiration from literature, history, and his own personal experiences to create these narratives. One of McQueen's most memorable runway shows was his spring-slash-summer 1999 collection, entitled No. 13 Inches the show was inspired by the story of the Highland Clearances, a historical event in Scotland where landowners forcibly evicted tenants from their homes in order to make room for sheep farming. The collection featured designs that incorporated elements of traditional Scottish dress, such as kilts and tartan patterns. 
as well as distressed fabrics and leather details to evoke a sense of hardship and struggle. McQueen's use of storytelling in his designs was not just limited to his runway shows. He also incorporated narrative elements into his fashion campaigns and editorial spreads, often collaborating. Fashion styles in major Chinese cities, such as Shanghai, Beijing, and Xinjiang. China's major cities such as Shanghai, Beijing, and Xinjiang have been at the forefront of fashion trends in recent years. Each city has its own unique fashion style that reflects the local culture, history, and lifestyle. In this essay, we will explore the fashion styles of these three major cities in China. Shanghai, known as the fashion capital of China, has a modern and sophisticated fashion style that is heavily influenced by the city's colonial past. Shanghai's fashion style is characterized by a blend of traditional Chinese elements with Western fashion trends. Women's fashion in Shanghai is often elegant and feminine, with a focus on flowing fabrics and delicate details such as lace and embroidery. Men's fashion in Shanghai is more understated, with a focus on clean lines and classic tailoring. Beijing, the capital city of China, has a more conservative and formal fashion style that is influenced by the city's political and cultural history. Women's fashion in Beijing is often characterized by modest, tailored pieces such as blazers, trousers, and pencil skirts. Men's fashion in Beijing is also quite formal, with a focus on suits and dress shoes. However, in recent years, there has been a growing trend towards more casual and streetwear-inspired fashion in Beijing. Xinjiang, a city known for its tech industry, has a fashion style that is more casual and laid-back than the other two cities. Xinjiang's fashion style is heavily influenced by streetwear and athleisure trends, with a focus on comfortable and practical clothing. Women's fashion in Xinjiang often features oversized silhouettes and bold prints, while men's fashion is characterized by functional pieces such as windbreakers and utility jackets. Another city in China that has made a name for itself in the fashion world is Guangzhou. Located in the south of China, Guangzhou is known for its vibrant fashion scene and its innovative designs. The fashion style in Guangzhou is a mix of traditional Chinese elements with modern fashion trends, creating a unique and eclectic fashion scene. Women's fashion in Guangzhou is often characterized by bold colors and patterns, with a focus on comfortable and flowing fabrics such as silk and chiffon. Dresses and skirts are popular, often featuring asymmetrical hemlines and unique cutouts. Men's fashion in Guangzhou is often more casual, with a focus on streetwear-inspired pieces such as graphic tees, denim jackets, and sneakers. In addition to its unique fashion style, Guangzhou is also home to many fashion trade shows and exhibitions, making it a hub for the fashion industry in China. The city hosts the China International Fashion Week, which brings together designers, buyers, and industry professionals from all over the world to showcase the latest fashion trends. Another city worth mentioning is Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province. Chengdu has a fashion style that is influenced by the city's laid-back lifestyle and its love of street culture. Women's fashion in Chengdu is often characterized by bold and colorful prints, with a focus on comfortable and relaxed silhouettes such as oversized sweaters and loose-fitting pants. Men's fashion in Chengdu is also quite casual, with a focus on streetwear-inspired pieces such as hoodies and sneakers. In recent years, 
Chengdu has also become a popular destination for fashion bloggers and influencers, who are drawn to the city's unique fashion scene and its vibrant street culture. The city's fashion scene is known for its creativity and experimentation, with many local designers pushing the boundaries of traditional fashion design. Another city in China that has emerged as a fashion hub is Hangzhou, located in the Zhejiang province. Hangzhou is known for its picturesque scenery, rich history, and its modern fashion scene. The fashion style in Hangzhou is heavily influenced by traditional Chinese elements, such as delicate embroidery and silk fabrics. Women's fashion in Hangzhou often features flowing silk dresses and skirts, with intricate embroidery and floral motifs. The colors used in Hangzhou's fashion are often soft and muted, reflecting the city's serene atmosphere. Men's fashion in Hangzhou is more understated, with a focus on clean lines and classic tailoring. Hangzhou is also home to the annual China International Fashion Week, which attracts designers, buyers, and industry professionals from around the world. The event showcases the latest trends in Chinese fashion and highlights the creativity and innovation of local designers. Another city in China that has a unique fashion scene is Hong Kong. Hong Kong is known for its vibrant street culture and its blend of Western and Eastern influences. The fashion style in Hong Kong is a mix of high-end designer labels and streetwear-inspired fashion. Women's fashion in Hong Kong often features bold and colorful prints, with a focus on edgy and modern pieces such as leather jackets and denim shorts. Men's fashion in Hong Kong is also heavily influenced by streetwear trends, with a focus on oversized silhouettes and statement accessories such as backpacks and sneakers. Hong Kong also hosts its own Fashion Week, showcasing the latest fashion trends from local and international designers. The event attracts fashion buyers and industry professionals from around the world, solidifying Hong Kong's place as a global fashion hub. China's fashion industry is not limited to its major cities but extends to its various regions, each with its unique cultural heritage and fashion style. For example, the Miao people of Guizhou province in southern China have a long history of making intricately embroidered clothing using natural dyes. The Miao traditional costume features intricate embroidery designs, vibrant colors, and silver jewelry. Similarly, the Tibetan people in western China have a distinctive fashion style characterized by their traditional garments made of wool or silk with intricate embroidery and colorful patterns. In the northern part of China, the Mongolian ethnic group has its own unique fashion style that reflects their nomadic lifestyle. Mongolian traditional clothing includes thick woolen coats, hats, and boots that provide warmth during the cold winters. The clothing is often adorned with intricate embroidery and decorative patterns. The Uyghur ethnic group in the Xinjiang region has a distinct fashion style that is a blend of Chinese and Central Asian influences. Uyghur traditional clothing features bright colors, intricate patterns, and often includes headscarves for women and skull caps for men. In recent years, many of these traditional fashion styles have gained popularity among younger generations in China and around the world. Fashion designers are incorporating traditional elements into modern designs, creating a unique blend of old and new. For example, some designers are using traditional Chinese fabrics, such as silk and brocade, to create modern clothing designs. In addition to traditional fashion styles, China is also known for its modern and contemporary fashion scene. 
The country has produced many talented fashion designers who have gained international recognition for their innovative designs and cutting-edge fashion. One such designer is Guo Pei, who is known for her elaborate and intricate designs, often featuring luxurious fabrics, handcrafted embroidery, and ornate details. Guo Pei gained global recognition after designing a dress for Rihanna at the 2015 Met Gala, which featured a 16-foot train and over 50,000 hand-sewn crystals. The Influence of Dying Industry on the Economy and Culture of Countries Around the World the dyeing and textile industry has played a significant role in the economic and cultural development of many countries around the world. From ancient times to the modern era, the textile industry has been an important contributor to global trade and has had a profound impact on the cultural and social aspects of many societies. One country that has been heavily influenced by the textile industry is India. India has a long history of textile production, with the country's cotton and silk fabrics being highly sought after by traders from around the world. The textile industry has played a significant role in the country's economy, providing employment opportunities for millions of people. In addition to its economic impact, the textile industry has also influenced India's culture and art with traditional clothing and fabrics being an important part of the country's heritage. Another country that has been heavily influenced by the textile industry is Japan. Japan has a long history of textile production, with the country's traditional kimono being an iconic garment that is still worn today for special occasions. The textile industry has played a significant role in Japan's economy, with many regions specializing in specific types of fabrics and dyeing techniques. The industry has also had a profound impact on Japan's culture, with textile production being closely tied to the country's traditional arts and crafts. In Europe, the textile industry has had a significant impact on the economy and culture of many countries, particularly during the Industrial Revolution. Countries such as Britain and France were at the forefront of textile production during this time, with the industry providing employment opportunities for millions of people. The textile industry also influenced European fashion and design, with many of the world's most famous fashion houses originating in countries such as France and Italy. In Africa, the textile industry has played a significant role in the economic development of many countries, particularly in West Africa. Countries such as Ghana and Nigeria have a long history of textile production, with traditional fabrics such as kente and adir being highly prized for their intricate designs and vibrant colors. The textile industry has also had a significant impact on African fashion and design, with many contemporary designers incorporating traditional fabrics and techniques into their work. In addition to its economic and cultural impact, the textile industry has also had a significant environmental impact. The use of chemicals in dyeing and textile production has led to pollution of waterways and land, with many countries working to develop more sustainable and eco-friendly practices. The textile industry has also played a significant role in the development and globalization of trade. Textile production and dyeing have been an important component of trade between countries for centuries, with fabrics and dyes being transported across vast distances. The textile industry has been a major driver of international trade and has contributed to the development of global supply chains. With countries specializing in different stages of the textile production process. One example of the global impact of the textile industry is the production of denim. 
The origins of denim can be traced back to France and Italy, where the fabric was traditionally used for workwear. However, it was not until the fabric was introduced to the United States that denim became a global phenomenon. The American denim industry revolutionized the production of the fabric, making it more durable and accessible to a wider audience. Today, denim is produced in countries around the world and has become a ubiquitous part of global fashion. The textile industry has also had a significant impact on the development of technology. Advances in textile production such as the use of synthetic fibers and digital printing, have led to the development of new materials and techniques that have transformed the industry. These technological advancements have allowed for greater precision and efficiency in textile production, making it possible to produce fabrics and garments at a larger scale and with higher quality. However, the textile industry has also faced challenges and controversies, particularly related to labor practices and environmental impact. Many textile production facilities, particularly in developing countries, have been criticized for poor working conditions and low wages. The use of chemicals in dyeing and textile production has also led to pollution and environmental degradation, with some textile production facilities having a significant impact on local ecosystems. In response to these challenges, there have been efforts to promote more sustainable and ethical practices in the textile industry. Many companies have adopted sustainable practices, such as using organic and recycled materials, reducing waste, and minimizing water and energy usage. There have also been efforts to improve labor practices in the industry, with organizations working to ensure fair wages and safe working conditions for textile workers. In addition to its economic and environmental impact, the textile industry has also played a significant role in the development of fashion and design. The production of textiles and garments has been an important part of cultural and artistic expression throughout history. With fabrics and garments often being used to convey social status, identity, and symbolism. In many cultures, traditional clothing and textiles continue to be an important part of everyday life, with garments and fabrics often reflecting local customs, beliefs, and practices. For example, in West Africa, the colorful and intricate patterns of kente and adir fabrics are often associated with important cultural events such as weddings and funerals. Similarly, in South Asia, the traditional saris worn by women are often intricately woven and embroidered with elaborate patterns and designs. In contemporary fashion and design, the textile industry continues to play a significant role in the development of new materials and techniques. Advances in technology have led to the creation of new types of fabrics, such as smart textiles that can change color or temperature in response to environmental factors. There has also been a growing interest in sustainable and eco-friendly fabrics, such as bamboo, hemp, and organic cotton. The textile industry has also played a significant role in the development of fashion trends and styles. From haute couture to streetwear, textiles and garments have been used to express individual style and identity. The fashion industry has been influenced by a wide range of factors, including cultural trends, technological advancements, and social and political movements. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in fashion that reflects diverse cultures and identities. Many fashion designers and brands have incorporated traditional textiles and garments into their collections, often using them to highlight and celebrate different cultural heritages. This has led to a renewed interest in traditional textiles and clothing, 
with many consumers seeking out unique and authentic pieces. Overall, the textile industry has had a profound impact on the development of fashion and design, as well as on cultural and artistic expression. While it has faced challenges related to labor practices and environmental impact, the industry continues to evolve and adapt, with efforts being made to promote sustainability and ethical practices. As fashion and design continue to evolve, it is likely that the textile industry will play an important role in shaping the trends and styles of the future. In addition to its impact on fashion and design, the textile industry has also played a significant role in the development of art and craft. Textiles have been used as a medium for artistic expression for centuries, with artists and artisans using fabrics and threads to create intricate and beautiful works of art. In many cultures, textile art and craft continue to be an important part of the local artistic tradition. For example, in India, the art of embroidery and textile printing has a long history and is still practiced by skilled artisans today. Similarly, in South America, the art of weaving is a cherished tradition that has been passed down through generations. Approach and Design Techniques in Fabric Dyeing Dyeing is a process of coloring textile materials, such as fibers, yarns, or fabrics, using various techniques and design methods. It has been used for centuries to add color and texture to fabrics, and has evolved over time to include a range of techniques and approaches. One of the most traditional dyeing techniques is vat dyeing, which involves immersing the fabric into a vat of dye. The fabric is then removed and exposed to air, which oxidizes the dye and causes it to adhere to the fibers. This technique is often used for natural fibers such as cotton and linen. Another traditional technique is yarn dyeing, which involves dyeing the individual yarns before they are woven into fabric. This technique allows for greater control over the final color and design of the fabric, and is often used for creating striped or patterned fabrics. In addition to traditional techniques, there are also a range of modern approaches to dyeing and design. One popular method is digital printing, which involves printing designs directly onto fabric using specialized printers. This technique allows for greater precision and detail in the final design and is often used for creating custom or one-of-a-kind fabrics. Another modern technique is dip dyeing, which involves partially immersing the fabric into a dye bath to create a gradient effect. This technique can be used to create ombre or tie-dye effects and is often used for creating unique and eye-catching fabrics. In addition to these techniques, there are also a range of tools and materials that are used in dyeing and design. These include a variety of dyes, from natural dyes made from plant materials to synthetic dyes created in a laboratory. Other materials include chemicals, such as fixatives and mordants, that are used to help the dye adhere to the fibers. Design is also an important aspect of dyeing, with various approaches to creating patterns and designs on fabric. These include resist dyeing, which involves blocking certain areas of the fabric to create a pattern, and screen printing, which involves using stencils to create a design on the fabric. One innovative approach to dyeing and design is eco-printing, a technique that involves pressing plant materials on the fabric to create a natural print. The plant materials, such as leaves, flowers, and bark, are arranged on the fabric and then steamed or boiled to transfer the natural pigments onto the fabric. This technique produces unique and beautiful designs, 
while also utilizing sustainable and natural materials. Another approach to dyeing and design is shibori, a traditional Japanese technique that involves folding, twisting, and binding fabric before dyeing it. The bindings create resist areas on the fabric, resulting in unique patterns and designs. Shibori is often used for creating intricate and beautiful patterns on natural fabrics such as cotton and silk. Tie-dye is another popular technique for creating unique and colorful designs on fabric. It involves tying or binding the fabric in various ways, then dyeing it to create patterns and designs. Tie-dye can be used to create a range of styles, from bright and bold to more subtle and sophisticated. In addition to these techniques, there are also a range of approaches to sustainable dyeing and design. This includes the use of natural dyes made from plants, such as indigo, matta root, and turmeric. Natural dyes are often more environmentally friendly than synthetic dyes, as they are made from renewable resources, and do not contain harmful chemicals. Another innovative approach to dyeing and design is solar dyeing, which involves using the sun's energy to color fabric. In this technique, fabric is placed in a jar or container with natural dye materials, such as berries or flowers, and then left in the sun for several hours or days. The heat and light from the sun helps to extract the pigments from the dye materials and transfer them onto the fabric. Batik is another traditional technique that involves applying wax to fabric to create a resist before dyeing it. The wax prevents the dye from penetrating certain areas of the fabric, resulting in a unique and intricate pattern. Batik is often used for creating intricate designs and patterns on cotton and silk fabrics. In addition to these techniques, there is also a growing interest in upcycling and repurposing fabrics, including dyeing and redesigning old garments to give them new life. This approach allows for a more sustainable and environmentally friendly approach to fashion and design. Another approach to dyeing and design is block printing, a technique that involves carving a design into a block of wood or other material. Applying ink or dye to the block, and then pressing it onto fabric. This technique can create intricate and detailed designs with a handmade, rustic feel. Digital printing is another popular approach to design and dyeing, which involves printing designs directly onto fabric using a computer and inkjet printer. This technique allows for a high degree of precision and detail in design, and can be used to create a range of styles and patterns. Resist dyeing is another technique that involves applying a resist material to fabric, such as wax or clay, to create areas that will resist dye penetration. This can be used to create intricate patterns and designs, and is often used in traditional textile art forms such as batik and ikat. Finally, there is a growing interest in natural dyeing techniques, which involve using plant-based materials to color fabric. These materials can include plants, fruits, and even insects such as cochineal, which is used to create a vibrant red color. Natural dyeing techniques can produce a range of colors and styles, and are often favored for their sustainability and environmentally friendly nature. Another approach to dyeing and design is the use of acid dyes, which are commonly used to dye protein-based fibers such as wool, silk, and leather. Acid dyes require the use of an acid such as vinegar or citric acid to set the color, and can produce vibrant and long-lasting colors. A more experimental approach to dyeing and design is ice dyeing, which involves placing ice on top of fabric, then sprinkling dye powder on top of the ice. 
As the ice melts, the dye is absorbed by the fabric, creating a unique and unpredictable pattern. This technique is often used to create vibrant and abstract designs. In addition to dyeing techniques, there are also a range of design techniques used in the textile industry. One such technique is embroidery, which involves decorating fabric with a needle and thread to create intricate and detailed designs. Embroidery can be used to create a range of styles and designs, from traditional and ornate to more modern and minimalistic. Another design technique is applique, which involves layering pieces of fabric on top of each other to create a design. The pieces can be sewn together or attached with adhesive, and can create intricate and detailed patterns and designs. Finally, there is a growing interest in sustainable design practices, such as zero-waste design and the use of recycled materials. Zero-waste design involves creating patterns and designs that utilize all of the fabric, leaving no scraps or waste. Fashion brands and products related to the silk industry, such as Hermes Silk Scarves, Victoria's Secret Silk Lingerie and Lululemon Silk Yoga Wear. Silk has long been revered as a luxurious and coveted material in the world of fashion and textiles. From its origins in ancient China, silk has been used to create a wide range of clothing and accessories, and has remained a symbol of luxury and refinement throughout history. Today, there are many fashion brands and products that are closely associated with the silk industry, including Hermes Silk Scarves, Victoria's Secret Silk Lingerie, and Lululemon Silk Yoga Wear. Hermes is one of the world's most well-known luxury fashion brands, and their silk scarves are an iconic symbol of the brand. The scarves are made from high-quality silk twill, which is lightweight and smooth to the touch. Each scarf is hand-printed using a process that involves up to 40 different screens, resulting in vibrant and intricate designs. Hermes silk scarves are known for their versatility, and can be worn in a variety of ways, from a classic neck scarf to a headband or belt. Victoria's Secret is a popular lingerie and clothing brand that is known for its high-quality silk lingerie. Their silk lingerie is made from 100% pure silk, which is soft and comfortable against the skin. The lingerie is available in a range of styles and designs, from classic silk chemises to sexy silk robes and baby dolls. Victoria's Secret Silk Lingerie is known for its elegant and sophisticated look and is often chosen for special occasions such as weddings and anniversaries. Lululemon is a popular athletic apparel brand that offers a range of products designed for yoga and other fitness activities. Their silk yoga wear is made from a blend of silk and other performance fabrics, which provides a lightweight and breathable feel. The silk material is also naturally moisture-wicking and antibacterial, making it a popular choice for yoga enthusiasts who want a comfortable and stylish outfit that can withstand intense workouts. Lululemon Silk Yoga Wear is known for its sleek and stylish designs, and is often chosen by yoga practitioners who value both comfort and fashion. In addition to these well-known brands, there are many other fashion brands and products that are closely associated with the silk industry. For example, luxury fashion brands such as Gucci and Prada often incorporate silk into their designs, creating elegant and sophisticated pieces that are highly coveted by fashion enthusiasts. Silk scarves, ties and pocket squares are also popular accessories for men, and can add a touch of sophistication and elegance to any outfit. Another well-known brand that is closely associated with the silk industry is Emilio Pucci. This Italian fashion brand is known for its bold and colorful designs, many of which are created using silk fabrics. The brand's iconic Emilio scarf, which features vibrant abstract prints, has become a sought-after collector's item among fashion enthusiasts. 
Emilio Pucci also offers a range of other silk products, including dresses, blouses, and accessories, which are prized for their luxurious feel and eye catching designs. In addition to fashion brands, there are also many artisans and independent designers who create unique and beautiful products using silk. For example, Thai silk is known for its high quality and intricate designs, and is often used to create traditional clothing such as sarongs and scarves. The Thai silk village in Chiang Mai, Thailand is a popular destination for tourists and silk enthusiasts. Offering a wide range of handmade silk products and workshops on silk production and weaving techniques. Another example of independent designers using silk is the brand Mayat, which works with artisanal communities around the world to create sustainable and ethical fashion. The brand Silk Products, which are made using traditional weaving and dyeing techniques, are known for their exquisite craftsmanship and unique designs. Mayat also works to support local communities and preserve traditional techniques, making it a socially conscious choice for fashion enthusiasts. One brand that has become synonymous with high-quality, eco-friendly silk products is Eileen Fisher. The American fashion brand has made sustainability a cornerstone of its business model and has been using silk as one of its primary materials for many years. The company sources its silk from China, where it works with farmers and manufacturers to ensure ethical and sustainable production practices. Eileen Fisher's silk products, which include dresses, blouses, and scarves, are known for their effortless elegance and timeless style. Another brand that has gained a reputation for its use of silk is Equipment. This Parisian-inspired brand is known for its chic and minimalist designs, many of which feature silk fabrics. The brand's signature slim signature shirt, which comes in a range of silk prints and solid colors, has become a cult favorite among fashion enthusiasts. Equipment also offers a range of silk blouses, dresses, and accessories, all of which are prized for their luxurious feel and understated sophistication. Silk is also used extensively in the world of lingerie, where it is prized for its softness, sheen, and breathability. Victoria's Secret, for example, offers a range of silk lingerie products, including robes, camisoles, and slips. The brand's Dream Angels collection, which features delicate lace and silk fabrics, has become a popular choice for special occasions and bridal wear. Similarly, Luxury lingerie brand La Perla uses silk extensively in its collections, creating beautiful and delicate pieces that are both comfortable and stylish. In addition to clothing and lingerie, silk is also used in a wide range of accessories, from scarves and ties to bags and shoes. Italian luxury brand Salvatore Ferragamo, for example, offers a range of silk scarves and ties that feature the brand's iconic prints and patterns. Silk is also used in the brand's handbags and shoes, adding a touch of elegance and luxury to every piece. Silk is not only a beautiful and luxurious fabric, but it also has a rich cultural history in many parts of the world. In Japan, for example, the kimono is a traditional garment that is often made of silk. The kimono is known for its simple yet elegant design, and has been a part of Japanese culture for centuries. Today, the kimono is still worn for special occasions and ceremonies, and is often passed down as a family heirloom. Similarly, in India, silk is an integral part of many traditional textiles and garments. The sari, for example, is a long piece of fabric that is draped around the body and often made of silk. The sari is a symbol of grace and elegance in Indian culture, and is worn for weddings, festivals, and other special occasions. Other traditional Indian garments, such as the salwar kameez and the lahanga choli, also often incorporate silk fabrics. Silk is also an important part of Chinese culture, where it has been used for thousands of years to create beautiful textiles and garments. The chi pao, also known as the chang sam, 
is a traditional Chinese dress that is often made of silk. The Chipao features a high collar and a fitted silhouette, and is known for its elegant and feminine design. Today, the Chipao is still worn for special occasions, and has also been adapted by modern designers into new styles and variations. In addition to its use in traditional garments, silk is also an important material in many traditional crafts and arts. In Thailand, for example, silk is often used to create intricate woven designs, such as the Fa Sin, a type of skirt worn by women in northern Thailand. Silk is also used to create beautiful embroidered designs, such as the Suzani textiles of Uzbekistan and the Fakari embroidery of India.